So you can't go to the Bible to get what Robert Hunt said. There has to be some prayer and discerning and leaders, revelation, insight, to where enough people are saying and enough people are hearing it and saying, I agree with that. Yes, that's a word from God. And if it's a word from God, you need to command it. And if you don't believe what I just said a while ago, why are you commanding the foreword? So it's like, you know, and I, I could, you know, my, my mind's just going right now, you know. It's like when I'm, we're on the 50 state tour back in 03, 04, and Chuck runs up and grabs a microphone from me. We're in Texas. You know, Ch- Chuck has grabbed the microphone from me a hundred times in my ministry. It's like, I, it's my claim to fame. Chuck takes the mic. And he tells me later, he, he hears God say to him, go up and prophesy what I tell you and don't think about it. Because God wouldn't give him any of it until he got up there. Starts prophesying. It's all just coming out of here. He comes up. I see him coming on the microphone. He starts prophesying. He's, he, in so many words, he prophesies, if, if you'll pray right now, Saddam Hussein will be captured within a week. And he's then he turns around, his back's to them, and he's facing me, and he has me the mic going. <laughs> Pray, do something. Do, do, do something. Pray. I said, you do something. You gave the word. <laughs> he just turns and walks back to his seat. So said, well, there's no... There's no scripture. You got to judge that here. Is this a word from God or not? It's scriptural. God might say something like that. It lines up with scripture. Doesn't violate scripture. Right? But I got to judge it right here. So I say, well... Okay, you heard what he said. We're going to just pray. And so I get other leaders and come up there. And, you know, I don't finish the sermon. What, what are you going to do? Right? Everybody's looking out there going, Hey, you do something you're saying. What are you doing preaching about, you know? <laughs> you can't go back into your message at that point. <laughs> so I'm just saying, okay, what, 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 what did he say? So I just start, you know, okay, here's what he said. I'm start bringing people up and leaders and other leaders. Just, just pray into this, you know, pray, pray as God leads you. You know, we're just going to do what he said. And he being God, we're just going to do what he said. We brought one guy up and there was there, you know, it was a military base right there in San Antonio. We bring one guy up who's a soldier. He's in uniform. He's a part of the... And I don't know if it's, this is the right number, but I'll just throw it out there as an example, like the 103rd Division or whatever, you know, 101st Airborne or whatever. He's a member of that group. So we called him up and said, you need to stand here and just stand in proxy. We're going to pray over you and ask God to anoint the military to find this man. And we're going to bind the witchcraft that's hiding him and demons that are hiding him and all this that's going on. We're just going to just, so he comes up and we just anoint him with oil and there's preachers all around him and I'm just him and you know, praying and saying, come on, God, do this, please. (laughs) Three days later, Chuck called me four o'clock in the morning. He said, get up and turn your TV on. They're not going to stone us. They just pulled Saddam out of a hole in the ground. I said, that's awesome, man, you know. But don't worry. But I wasn't worried because I didn't give the prophecy. You did. Now I'm going to take credit for it with you. Man, we were in Texas and the Lord said, and we prayed. 
That's the way it works, right? I mean, you got to work this stuff. <laughs> Here's what it really is the icing on the cake. The man's division, whatever it was, his unit that we prayed on over is the group that found him and pulled him out of the ground. So, so why am I making such a big deal out of this? It doesn't have to be a scripture you're quoting. Because you have promises from God that are scriptural. When he, like when he spoke to you about that child that's away from him right now, and he's given you promises, he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do this, and I'm gonna, just, just get your faith out there. Well, say what God said. There are leaders that... You can't go to chapter and verse and, and get what God's going to do through your congregation or in that city, but it's scriptural and it's biblical and he's given you vision and he's given you words and he said, this is what I want to do here. And he's shown you strongholds and the destiny and different things he wants to do and you need to say what he said. He's giving you that so you can begin to release that as a declaration and a decree, a confession where you're saying, I agree with God. I'm saying this together with God. And that's what we're doing when we command the forward. I guarantee you God has some really significant destiny for Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. And that needs to be decreed. Yeah. I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm not, I know these guys well enough to know that. And I'm confident Others of you are as well. But I, I, I want you to know why you're doing this. This is effective. God says to Jeremiah, I'm going to do all these things, man. You, you just a, Jeremiah's just a young guy. He's not a national prophet. He's about to become one. There's a difference. He doesn't have all this experience. But God says, I'm going to do this. And in fact, I'm going to use you to pluck up, to tear down. He's taking this in the context of a nation now, not just like a garden. <laughs> and then you're going to build and plant. And Jeremiah says, how is this going to happen? He said, I'm going to watch over my words to perform them. Yeah. Perform is the word asa. It's the same word uh, used for Genesis creation. He creates with his words. He does things with his words. What's he saying to Jeremiah? He's saying, I'm going to speak through you, and then I'm going to perform and accomplish what I say through you. You're going to say it. I'm going to do it. That's what he was saying to Jeremiah. He said the same thing to Isaiah. The words that go out of my mouth won't return to me void. They'll accomplish what I say. It's the same word, asa. Create, perform, accomplish. So we quote that verse and we think of the Bible and we should think of the Bible, but that wasn't what Isaiah was looking at. Isaiah was being told, I'm prophesying these things to you, Isaiah, and I'm through you and I'm telling you right now, I'm going to do what I said. Yeah. Everything I put in your mouth to say, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Well, God wants to put some things in your mouth. 